The outrage continues over that controversial Frosh Week chant at a Halifax university. It advocated underage, non-consensual sex. Two student leaders will now face disciplinary action, just part of the school's effort to deal with a growing crisis. The CBC's Elizabeth Chu has the latest. At the St. Mary's Huskies' first football game of the year, attention is off the field on their student leader, who acknowledges he dropped the ball. I feel terrible about it. Jared Perry, the beleaguered head of the student association, quit tonight after participating in this Frosh Week chant. A chant with offensive references to underage sex without consent. It's definitely the biggest mistake I've made um, throughout my university career and probably in my life. The news passed around quickly on campus. He's had a lot of pressure over the last few days and I think it's for the best for himself and the school. What they did was definitely incorrect. And now this former Frosch leader says she complained about the very same chant last year. I complained because a student approached me, a first year student who was a sexual assault survivor herself and she was physically moved by this. You know, you could see that her heart was wounded. But only this week did the chant become a national controversy when someone posted this cell phone video on Instagram. It's now clear the chant has been around for at least five years. The university says it didn't know. Today, the president announced a task force on preventing sexual violence headed by this man, Wayne McKay. He previously time. investigated cyberbullying for the province. And the university says two student leaders will face disciplinary action. Elizabeth Chu, CBC News, Halifax.